Good morning, over LC Middle School students. This is Mr. Woolley, and remember that the information contained in this video is intended to be viewed only by the students in Mr. Woolley's classroom. By watching the video, you agree that you will not record or share the video with anyone who is not a student in Mr. Woolley's classroom. All right, so we're working on our view today, working with our expressions and equations. And remember, don't watch the video until you've done your two submissions. And you can use this video to help you if there's still something you're stuck on after you've got a couple submissions and you missed any more problems. All right, so in question one, it says a football team scored five touchdowns, four extra points, and two field goals. And want to set up our own expression from this. So we're using T for touchdowns, E for extra points, and um, F for field goals. So it would be 5T plus 4E plus 2F. All right, and no spaces between those. We can type that into Schoology. Now, if you want to know how much the team scored during this problem, touchdowns are worth six points, extra points are worth one, and field goals are worth three. Well, five touchdowns times six points gives you 30. Four extra points times one point gives you four. Two field goals times three points each gives you six. Add them all up, and you get 40 total points. Number three, true or false, a deposit will increase the amount of money in your account. That is true. All right, next up, question four. You're playing the band concert at the park. Cost of admission is $6 per person. Write an expression to describe this scenario using a T for tickets sold. It'd be 6T, capital T there. Number five, using that expression for number four, determine the amount of money you made if you sold 275 tickets. Well, six times the amount of tickets, six times 275 gives you 1,650. Make sure you do put your comma in there for your answer. Number six, continuing on with the same problem. Now this time you're in charge of the bank account for all the park activities. So at 8 a.m. July 1st, the balance in your account was $3,984. At the end of the day on July 1st, you go to the bank and deposit all the money made from ticket sales. Right up here. And then July 2nd, you wrote a check for $150 to pay for lighting for the concert. July 3rd, you wrote a check to pay $980 for concessions to the concert. And July 4th, you wrote a check for $155 to um, pay for those decorations. What's the balance after all those transactions? All right. So you start off with that beginning balance. And then you add your deposit, what you made from ticket sales. Then you got to subtract out the three things you wrote for checks. Grand total should be $4,349. All right, there we go. Now time for some equations. All right, solving our equation. We got six times, so you got the quantity J plus four. Well, what I did, instead of distributing first, I got rid of the times six right away. So divide by six, divide by six, and... I get j plus 4 equals 11. And then get rid of a plus 4 by minus and 4, and I get j equals 7. And remember, you can always double check equations. When you're done, if you put a 7 in here, 7 plus 4 is 11. 6 times 11 is 66. So yes, that is correct. All right, number 8. We have negative 3g plus 5 equals a negative 19. So I get rid of this plus 5 here by subtracting 5, subtracting 5. Now a negative 19 minus 5 does give you a negative 24. And then I got a negative 3 times g. I don't want the times negative 3 anymore, so I divide by a negative 3. It clears out just to just a g, and negative by negative is positive, and 24 divided by 3 gives us an 8. Here's our equation next. I get rid of the minus 3 by plus 3 to each side, and I get 4q uh, equals 20. Divide each side by 4, and I get q equals 5. Great. One more of these basic equations here. Do got fractions involved here, so I want to be careful. Um, you got 1 fourth u minus 15, so I get rid of the minus 15 by adding 15 to both sides. And that gives me 1 fourth u equals 20. And so, uh, instead of timesing by 1 fourth, I divide by a fourth to each side. It clears out and leaves me just a u here. 20 divided by a fourth. Well, in reality, I need to put 20 over 1 divided by a fourth. Now I'm able to keep change flip once I put that 1 underneath. So 20 over 1 times, and I flip it to 4 over 1, I get 80 over 1, or just 80, so u is equal to 80. And you can still kind of use mental math to double check this. Uh, 1 fourth of 80, 1 fourth times 80 gives you 20, and 20 minus 15 does give you 5. All right, question 11. I have to ask to build an equation here. And it said Doug's monthly phone bill is made up of a $20 fee plus 5 cents per minute. Doug's phone bill for the month of January was 33.50. 
write an equation to model the situation. Use a capital M to represent the number of minutes. And remember, don't use any spaces or dollar signs. Well, we know. We try to put the letter first in these scenarios. We don't try to put just the random numbers first. We try to put anything with a letter first. So 5 cents per minute, so 0 0.05M, plus that $20 fee equals what his bill was for the month. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and solve that, of course, um, down number 12, that's what they're asking us to do. I get rid of the plus 20 by minus 20 from each side, and 5 cents per minute means I spent 1350 just talk on the phone once I got rid of that uh, original $20 charge. So instead of times them by 0 0.05, divide by 0 0.05 on each side, you get M equals 270 minutes. All right, we got one more to go here. Number 13, you go to the grocery store and buy a package of hamburger buns for $1.79. You also buy three candy bars, and your total bill is five sixty-six. Write an equation to model this situation. Use a capital C to represent candy bars. Remember, no spaces or dollar signs. All right, so we got three candy bars, so I'm going to use three of those, so three times C, three C, plus the $1.79 spent on hamburger buns. That's where you get your total of five sixty-six from. All right, now how do I solve that? Well, I go ahead and take away $1.79 from the hamburger buns out of the equation. These are the three candy bars cost $3.87. So divide each side by three at this point, and you get the candy bars each cost $1.29. So thanks for watching, and good luck on your test tomorrow.